Sheila from MDUST Science and Garden Education. Today we'll be doing an experiment with celery. What you need for this experiment is water, some regular food coloring, and four to six glasses, jars, or vases, whatever you have already at home is fine. Um, and of course you need celery. You can see that this celery came right from my garden. It still has the roots attached. You don't need the roots for this experiment, but you do need your celery to have the leaves on here. And I like to use some of the light leaves and some of the dark leaves. Um, and you'll see why when you finish your experiment. Um, if you can't find it like this at the grocery store, they do usually have it with the leaves at the farmer's market. Okay, so we're going to start by putting some water in each one of our glasses, vases, whatever you happen to be using. You don't need to measure, you just need about a couple inches in each one of these. And then we'll be making the six colors of the rainbow. We're going to start right here with red. And we'll give that a little swish. And our next color is going to be orange. And food coloring usually comes in food four colors, red, yellow, green, and blue. So we'll be making orange ourselves. And the way to make orange is with just one drop of red. You'll need a few drops in each one of these. And we'll be putting three drops of yellow. And the directions to make different colors are usually on the box of food coloring. So there's our orange. The next one will be yellow. So put three drops of yellow. Our next color is green. And even though we have green, let's make green just because it's fun. So to make green, we need one drop of blue. And we'll be putting three drops of yellow. Looks cool. There's our green. The next one is blue. Our last one is purple. And to make purple, we're going to put let's see, a drop of blue. Let's try two drops of red. And you can always add a little bit more. You can't really take it back out, but you can always add a little more if you need to. That's like a nice purple. Okay, so now we're putting our celery in. Remember that we wanted to have some light and dark colored leaves. So as you do this, you might try to pick a light and a dark one to put in each one of your jars or vases. This is an experiment you might want to do outside. Sometimes it can be a little bit messy. I'm doing it outside just in case anything spills, but you could do this in your kitchen. We're going to check on this in 24 hours or one day and see what's happened and check on it again in 48 hours or two days to see what's changed. And when we come back and do that, we'll talk about um, what's happened and why. Welcome back. It's been 48 hours and we're, we're ready to check on our celery experiment and see what's happened. So let's start over here with red. I see quite a bit of red in our leaves. They've changed a lot. Oh, look at the orange ones. They look super cool. Orange and Look at the yellow, that's quite yellow. The yellow worked pretty well. And I was wondering if the green, you're really going to be able to see it because the leaves were already green. But you really can. You really can see the change. Blue, let's see, how did blue do? Well, you can really see on the light colored leaves. Remember we put in light and dark ones so that we could kind of see the difference, see the light and the dark on the green, very different. And then purple was our last one. So what happened here? What, what was the... The, the process that was happening, let's go back to our original celery plant and talk about it. So plants, like people, have structures that help them to survive and grow. So you can see that our plant had roots, and the root is a structure that has a job of collecting water and nutrients from the soil, and the, it's delivered to the stem, and the stem's job or function is to take that up to the leaves. So what we saw happening was that the stem was soaking up, we didn't have roots anymore, but the stem was soaking up the colored water and it was distributing it through the leaves. And that's how we got to see the colored water in all of our leaves. It's sort of like if you were drinking out of a straw and how the water would be going up 
juice in this case. So I hope you enjoyed this experiment. Feel free to share your results or comments about how your experiment went with us on our Facebook page at MDUSD Science and Garden Education. See you next time.